channel. My name is Charmaine, and in this video, I will show you how I did the acrylic keychain that you saw in my thumbnail. And I'm going to be using this photo. This is my granddaughter. May she rest in heaven. And let me show you first of how I got this um, circle, okay? And then I'll show you about the um, acrylic keychain key in a second. So what I need to do, what you need to do first is go to Merge. This is, I'm using Silhouette. I am using Silhouette. And I'm using 11 by 17 paper. You could do this in Cricut also, but I just like the way, I like the crop function in Silhouette, okay? And I like to use um, Silhouette because I can put a lot of image on, images on here, okay? Even though I'm only doing one image on this sheet of paper and I already printed this out, I'm going to show you how I did this and then I'll show you the end result, okay? But like I said, I like using 11 by 70 paper because I can put a lot of stuff on here on my sublimation paper. And it's the same size paper that I use, 11 by 17. And I can be able to do a lot more projects at one time instead of using 8.5 by 11, which is smaller paper. Okay. For Silhouette, you have to go into File and Merge. I'll hold my phone because it's going to be a short video. <laughs> Okay, and then you have to go in, and then you have to find your photo, okay? Okay, here's the photo I'm going to use. I'm just going to click on this right here and push OK. And see as it comes out square, okay? So what I need to do is go ahead and go over here to the shape panel, which is right here is the rectangle. And I go, I click on the circle, bring the circle over here, make it any size you want by spreading it out, Okay change the color so i'm gonna go ahead and highlight that and hit black so i can highlight make the whole circle black and then right here this is the lining of the circle right here i click on that and turn it black so now you see the circle is black and then the outlining the lining is black okay so i know that this is like an oval so i'm gonna go ahead and make it three by three just so it can be even and the image that I'm going to be using, the circle that I'm going to be using, the size is um, three by three. But I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so um, I have a little space to work with. So I'm going to go th a three by two. So up here I put three by two, three by two. Okay, right here. Then I push enter. And now it's a perfect circle, three by two, three by two. Okay, so then I need to what I need to do is bring this over just so I can be in the middle of the paper. Then I need to take my my um picture, which is rectangle, and I need to click on it, right click on it. Let's move the circle down some. I'm using one hand, so sorry, just I'm not doing too well right now. But I'm gonna get better. <laughs> we'll make sure it's clicked. Then you go down, right click on it, and then you find the bring to the front. Then you bring, put it on top of the circle. And make sure when you um, are trying to crop something, make sure that the picture, the main picture is covering the whole image that you want it to be. Make sure it's on the top. So I'm gonna spread it out to make sure you got to cover the whole black circle. Okay, that should be fine right there. All to see how the, all the circle is covered in there. I just make sure it's even. I might can bring it up some, I think. Let's see. Just I don't want her head to be so stretched out like that. Let's see if I can. Oh, you're good. I can bring it down just a little bit. Okay, so that's how it's gonna be. Now, if I want, to, I mean, you can make it center how you want it. So if you want her, like, see how this picture is. Like, if you want her head over some, you just move her over her her body over some. Okay. But um, is make sure your picture is covered with the whole circle. So now what I need to do is go ahead and highlight this these two images. Go up to um object right here and push group. And what it'll do is gonna group that together. Okay, and then I go right to object again and I go to modify and I go to crop and just watch it crop it into a circle. I love how this, I mean you can do this as um Cricut also, but like I said, I use Silhouette because I can make more images if I want to. I already printed this out, so I'm going to be printing this right now. But let me show you how I print it out. So this is a 3.2 by 3.2, and the acrylic circle that I'm going to be using is a 3 by 3, okay? So what I do is I go up to here to File, and I go to Print, and the Epson 7710, and I make sure it's on Best. And I make sure I go to um, click on this right here where it says Media quali Quality. I go to layout and make sure that is flipped horizontally, horizontally, 
then I push print, okay? But like I said, I already printed it out, so I'm going to hit cancel this. And I'm going to meet you over at my press so I can show you how to press it. Okay, first of all, let me show you the acrylic keychain that I have. I purchased this from condi.com. I love condi. They gave, well, this they gave this to me. They gave me a few for free so I can um show you guys how they work because I do so much business, business with them. So if you are interested in um purchasing sublimation blanks with condi.com, just go to condi.com and it's a 1-800 number there. You can just ask for Chloe Smith and she will help you out. She's who's um and you act you say my name, Charmaine Galloway, and she'll give you the discount on your sublimation project products. Okay. These are um the prices and stuff vary, so they have everything you can look for that you're looking for for sublimation. Okay. So um basically it's two different sides. This is like a, a shiny side, it feels really smooth and and, and slick. And it also is this is also a um a side that is frosted okay it's the frosted side but you only can tell by feeling it feeling it because it looks the same on both sides so you want your image to go on the frost side okay and you want to make sure your heat press is 400 degrees for six and you're going to be doing this for 60 seconds okay so basically i go here's my image i already cut it out and yes the, the image looks um pale when um before you step before you add the heat on it when you add the heat it bring out the color but this is a pale picture so it won't be too much color on here because it's like really a light color photo but um if you have some colors that's a pop it might not see you might be, not be able to see that on your paper but when you add the heat on that's when it um releases all the color okay like i said i'm gonna go ahead and put the um the uh frosted side down so i can put my photo on and make sure that your this is the hole right here so make sure your picture is in the middle and how you want it she's laying down so i'm going to make sure i put it sideways okay her face sideways okay and this is how i want well, first you can basically Turn it over if you want to turn it over first so you can be able to figure out how you want the picture. So you can put the paper down first and then figure out how you want it. Okay, I have to fix my lighting, y'all. My position. So now I'm just going to basically put the image like I wanted to make sure the circle is even with the face, with her face and how I was going to be positioned with the hole. Okay. And when I find how I want it, I will just go ahead and um, flip this because you want the um, paper to be on top, okay? But I'm going to flip it over. This is how I want it, just like this. You can see that with the lighting. And I'm going to flip it over like this. Make sure I keep it still. And I'm going to tape it so it won't move. And all everything I use will be in the description box below. Okay, and if you um purchase anything from my Amazon link, that it is going to help me with no extra cost to you. And all that, all the funds go to the things that I purchase for the different videos that I make for you guys. And I appreciate you um purchasing off my Amazon link if you have. Okay, so basically you have the um, protective paper on the bottom, which is butcher paper. And I have a link for that also below. And then I put this on top, okay? And you want this to be light pressure, okay? Put it in the middle. You want this to be light pressure. You don't want it to be too hard because it'll burn too heavy. So you want it to be light pressure. And then you go ahead and push this down. And you let it sit. You let it um heat up, like I said, 400 degrees for 60 seconds. If you like the content of the video, please subscribe to my channel. I do videos uh once a week. You probably try to get me in once a week. I also have an Etsy store. It's called Charming Gal Boutique 2. You can check me out if you want to design these things. I can design them for you. I have all kinds of things on my website. Also, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. Check me out from sublimation, from vinyl, from cricket, through silhouette, uh, journals, uh, calendars, sublimating everything. I love sublimation, but I also use vinyl also. So, um, like I said, check out condi.com or dietran.com. It's the same site. And um, Chloe Smith will help you out. She did give me a few couple, couple of free things because I buy all my mugs, my sublimating mugs from there. I buy my mask from there. I buy a lot of in my tumblers also. They have the um, they have the tumblers there with the, without the taper side. So if you're looking for the tumblers, if you're sublimating tumblers, and you're looking for the ones with um, that's not tapered, they have the straight ones. So you don't have to worry about the tapered image. Okay, okay. So now let's go ahead and just take this off, and let's go ahead and un peel this off also. And look at that. Ooh, it's hot. It's very hot. <laughs> Let me just sit there for a second and I'm going to show you the one that I already made, okay? 
the one I already did before earlier today is this right here. Let me turn it up. So okay. So this is my granddaughter. May, her, may she rest in peace. This is her. And um basically this is how it's gonna be on the kitchen because she's laying down. Okay, and then also look at that, y'all. It's on the other side too. Okay. So you just mirror your image and it goes on both sides. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I'm gonna give this to my daughter. I'm gonna keep one for myself. Um, beautiful. <laughs> and it's really thick. It's, this stuff is not cheap. They do not sell cheap things, okay? They are really thick and durable. And I got this key, I got this key ring from Amazon. And I got this from Amazon too. So you can just add whatever you want. But they also sell the um it's called key tags. These are called key tags. And then they also have the um little clips that you can the key clips that you can put in here too that um that you can put inside of here okay on candy.com okay let's go ahead and see the one that we just did it's still pretty hot but i just want to show you the results that we just did today so you'll know that what we did is the same thing okay it's cool now look at that that's the front look at the bot the back isn't that beautiful i love these things this is very these are really good for um memorials um or either just different for for sports if your kids are doing sports christmas gifts birthdays it's a really nice durable acrylic key tag key chain you know key tag okay so this is the one we did today beautiful and this is the other one so please subscribe to my please like this video if this was helpful to you i really appreciate you all from visiting and if you have any questions, leave them below. It's, it will take me a little while to get back because I'm so busy, y'all. I got this boutique going on. And I also have a business. My daycare is full-time. So I've been really working on that. And I have a, ch a son, of course. So I and I, and I have I've been doing a lot of vendor, vendor's tables lately. So trying to get things up and running for that to sell. Let me show y'all one more thing. Uh, these are so pretty. I did a video on these. So check that video out. There are two earrings. And you can also sublimate the back. Ooh. front and the back aren't they beautiful it's the same time and temp these are a little um thinner than the key rings these are thinner and these are kind of thicker and it's a little bit bigger but these are so these are so pretty and i show i have a video now so you can check that out and they also come with the hooks beautiful y'all check my video out and here's another one i did pittsburgh stillers we have a lot of fans down here where i'm from and these sell like hot cakes like i said if you don't want to do if you don't want to um Make your own designs. Check out my website. Check out my Etsy page. It says Charming Girl Boutique number two. I also did this one too. It's another one over there. It fell. <laughs> but it's also a set. Well, thanks for watching. And until next time, be blessed. <laughs>